Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome you all to learn Chinese language with Chinese language made easy. I am Muhammad Shahid and today I will discuss part second of the video lecture which was about knowing the names of the strokes of a Chinese character. I told you that if you want to write a Chinese character you have to know the names of the strokes of a Chinese character and the second important thing which you would need to know to write a Chinese character or a Chinese sentence is that you need to know the writing order of these strokes. So in today's lecture I will focus on some other names of the strokes of a Chinese character and inshallah in upcoming videos I will try to discuss the writing order of these strokes of a Chinese character and you will be able to write a Chinese character successfully inshallah so let's just get started with our today's lecture and what is going to what, what are we going to have for us today is that we are going to know the names of the Chinese strokes and this video lecture is the part second of the first video lecture which I recorded earlier so the first the twelfth stroke actually with us today is the stroke name this and this is hung zhe ti hung zhe ti hung zhe ti in english it is known as horizontal turning with rising stroke and the writing direction of this uh, stroke would be i will first show you the symbol which represent this uh, stroke so you would be able to when I discuss that about the writing direction of this uh, stroke so you would be able to uh, recognize it that how are we going to write it so the writing direction of this uh, stroke would be that it begins with a very short horizontal stroke and then it turns down and rises up to the right the stroke should be completed without being broken okay so this was about the writing direction of this stroke and here are some examples that include this uh, stroke and the first one is known as yu 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 the second one is shuo shuo the third one is tan 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 in english language they are known as the first one is known as language just like we say han yu han yu Han Yu means Chinese language, so he, here we are using it uh, alone. Yu, Yu, squeeze your tongue, uh, squeeze your your lips, and uh, round your tongue and uh, speak this word. And the second one is to speak, and the third one is to discuss or to chat. Okay, so this was about this stroke. Let's just discuss the thirteenth stroke, and uh, the thirteenth stroke with us is this one and, and this is the pinion in front of you shu one go shu one go shu one go english name of this stroke is vertical upward turning so this is the symbol which represent this stroke i will tell you about the writing direction of this stroke is that it should be written from top to bottom then turning upward without being broken okay so you have to keep this in mind here are some examples which include this stroke and they are the opinion of these three characters uh, they are same okay and they can be pronounced is the same ta 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 in english they are known as he she et okay so this was the 13th stroke now let's just discuss the 14th stroke and the 14th stroke is this one all of these strokes are derived stroke just keep this in mind there are six basic strokes from which all these strokes are derived okay so this is the name of this hung zhe wan go hung zhe wan go hung zhe wan go hung zhe wan go you got it in english it is known as horizontal bending with an upward hook i will show you the symbol which represent this stroke and i will tell you about the writing direction of this stroke is that it uh, begins with a line written from left to right before it's uh, bending at a right angle ended with a rising hook on the right the whole stroke should be written without being broken i will show you some examples and you will see that which includes this uh, stroke so the first one is known as jiu jiu the second one is ji G. so let's just uh, in, know it in English the first one is number nine the second one is few so this was all about the 14th stroke now let's just get to know about the 15th stroke and the 15th stroke is this one in English it is hung pie 
hung pie, hung pie, left horizontal falling, and this is the symbol which represents this stroke. And I'll tell you about the writing direction of this stroke. Is that it should be written from the left to the right and continues its lower part by turning to the left without being broken. Here are some examples which include this uh, stroke, and the first one is tuo. The second one is yo, tuo, yo, tuo, yo, tuo, yo. So the first one in English is known as many and the second one is known as again. So this is all for today. I hope that you would have know the names of these strokes of a Chinese character now and you would be able to recognize these in a Chinese character. So we uh, learned almost 15 uh, strokes, names of a Chinese character. If you like this video, do like us on our Facebook page and uh, do follow us on our Instagram and don't forget to subscribe us on our YouTube channel. We will meet with each other in next interesting video. Till then, 再见!